Welcome dear audience, students and scholars. Here I am Dr. Ramjad Ali. In this video we will learn the use of a standard deviation Chavisham theorem. This comes by using the mean and standard deviation we can find the portion or percentage of total observation that fall within a given interval about the mean. In this section, we will briefly discuss Chavisham theorem and empirical rule, uh, both of which demonstrate uh, the use of a standard deviation and explain how much data uh, moves around the average behavior. And moreover, uh, Chavisham theorem and empirical rule uh, enable us to understand that our data is uh, normally distributed uh, has a bell shape or a positive or negative secure. So let's discuss about the Chavisham theorem. Uh, Dear scholar, Chavisham theorem gives a lower bound for the area under a curve between two points that are on opposite side of mean and at the same distance from the mean. So for this purpose we have the definition of Chavisham theorem for any number k greater than 1 at least 1 minus 1 over k square of the data values lie within k standard deviations of the mean. So for the further understanding about the Chavisham theorem, uh, let me give you some graphical example. So let we have uh, the slope look like that. Here we are distributing our uh, curve with the two points that two points are opposite to each other from the mean. So see here we have u minus k sigma and here we have the mean value and on the other side right side we have mu plus k sigma so these two points uh, are explaining that at least one minus one over k square of the values lie in the shaded area so for example if our k is equal to 2 then our 1 minus 1 over k square will be obtained like that that is uh, 0.75 or 75 percent so according to Chavisham theorem at least 75 percent of the value of a data set lie within the standard deviation of the mean. So it look like our graphical presentation look like that. So we see here we have on the place of k mu minus 2 sigma and here we have mu mean as a center and mu plus 2 sigma. So here we can explain that at least 75 percent of the values lie in the shaded area or this area in these two parts. I am not giving the uh, shades for this, uh, uh, these two parts so that's why it, uh, we can explain as one part and second part. So uh, around 70% 75% values of uh, this series are given here and other may be uh, positive or negative outliers but if k is equal to 3 then our approximation look like that and we have 0.89 I miss the equal sign here you can put equal sign here likewise so it is 89 person so according to Chavisham theorem at least 89 percent values fall within three standard deviation of the mean so let me explain uh, this 89 percent with the help of a graphical presentation 
so we can construct the graphical presentation look like that so see here we have uh, <coughs> 89 percent values uh, of the data lies uh, between these two areas so the percentage value within three, uh, three standard deviation of mean for attribution theorem uh, give us that 89 percent data is under this curve that is uh, maybe positive skewed or maybe negative skewed so uh, we uh, have used the population notation for the mean and uh, standard deviation uh, the theorem applies to both sample and population but uh, uh, as concerned with the Chebyshev theorem is applicable to the distribution of any shape it may be a normally distribution with bell shape it may be positive or negative skewed so let me explain uh, the Chebyshev theorem with the help of an empirical example here we have the average systolic blood pressure of 4,000 women who were uh, screened for high blood pressure was found to be uh, 187 mmHg with a standard deviation of 22 using Chebyshev theorem find at least what percentage of women in this group have a systolic blood pressure between 143 and uh, 231 mmHg so let uh, mu and uh, sigma be the mean and standard deviation uh, respectively for the systolic blood pressure of these uh, women because we are uh, using the whole uh, population of uh, selected women so thus for the given information we have mean for these uh, 4000 women is 187 and for the standard deviation case we have sigma is equal to 22 so to find out the percentage of women whose systolic blood uh, pressures are between 143 and 231 mmHg the first step is to determine k each of the two points 143 and 231 is 44 units away from the mean so it can be written as if we uh, can subtract uh, 143 minus from 187 and we get minus uh, 44 and if we subtract uh, uh, 231 minus uh, 187 that is our mean we can uh, subtracting our mean from these two values and we get 44 but this 44 uh, is in plus and we have uh, the range of blood pressure is uh, 143 to uh, 231 and average behavior of this blood pressure is 187 the value of k can be obtained by dividing the distance between mean and each point by the standard deviation thus our k is equal to 44 divided by 22 and we get k is equal to 2 and for getting the 1 minus 1 over k square we have 1 minus 1 over k square and we get 0.75 and that 0.75 represent the 75 percent data uh, will lie in our uh, uh, in our curve or in our uh, uh, whatsoever call the uh, a positive or negative skewed curve okay let me uh, give you graphical presentation for this data so our graphical presentation for this systolic blood pressure because we have the mean value is 187 
and the lowest point is 143 and highest is a 231 and uh, our graphical presentation is look like that so at least 75 percent of the values lie in the this area from this point to this point so that's why we call it a shaded area so hence according to Javisham theorem at least 75 percent of women have systolic blood pressure between between 143 to 231 that is here is mentioned and we also mentioned in our question that is 143 to 231 this percentage uh, can give us that uh, uh, this uh, that the average uh, behavior uh, of our data set shows that most of uh, women have a systolic blood pressure issue so for the further understanding about the use of uh, standard deviation uh, let me explain the concept of empirical rule this kind of where Chavisham theorem is applicable to any kind of distribution the empirical rule applies only to a specific type of distribution called a bell shaped distribution so for a bell shaped distribution uh, approximately if our data answer or data lies uh, ranges uh, 68 percent then our uh, graphical presentation look like bell shape so 80 percent of the observation lie within the one standard deviation of the mean and when we have a 90 percent so 95 percent uh, of the observation lie within two standard deviation of the mean and for the three we have 99.7 percent of the observation lie within three standard deviation of the mean so for the empirical rule uh, uh, one thing we have to keep in mind that our graphical presentation look like exactly the bell shape for the empirical rule there is no graphical presentation can be drawn uh, uh, to look like a negative skewed or positive skewed as we have given in our observation theorem so see here we have a positive skewed data but uh, in our empirical rule we can only uh, give the graphical presentation for the bell shape graphical presentation so far the further understanding about uh, the empirical rule uh, let me give you an example for this purpose here we have the age uh, distribution of a sample of uh, uh, 5000 persons is bell shape in a mean of 40 years a standard deviation of 12 years determine the approximate percentage of people who are uh, 16 year to 16 uh, 4 years old so we use the empirical rule to find the required percentage between the distribution of ages follow a bell shaped curve from the given information so for this distribution we have a uh, mean that is uh, 40 years and our standard deviation that is 12 years so we know that uh, for uh, for finding the uh, right side and left side we first have to uh, um, uh, take the minus uh, 40 from uh, 64 and uh, uh, that is 24 and our standard deviation is 2s and for uh, 16 that is the lowest and we have uh, 16 minus 14 uh, 40 that is 24 that is minus 2 standard deviation so uh, we are actually uh, subtracting our mean value from our lowest and highest year of ages so for the uh, construction of bell shape curve we have the mean value like here we have the mean value and uh, for the bell shape we have a mean value at the highest point 
and our uh, graphical presentation look like that each of the two points uh, lowest point 16 and 64 is 24 units away from the mean and this is for the negative side and this is for the positive side uh, and then uh, 24 by uh, 12 dividing 24 by 12 we get our two standard deviation in positive case and two standard deviation in our negative case okay that's the distance uh, between 16 to 64 Uh, 16 to sorry 16 to 40 and the distance between 40 to 64 is equal to two standard deviation irrespective of their sign so consequently our uh, graphical presentation for empirical rule become like that so because the area within two standard deviations of the mean is approximately 95% for a bell shaped curve approximately 95% of people in the sample are 16 year to 64 years old so dear scholar this is all about the use of uh, standard deviation with the help of Jibesham theorem and the empirical rule so see you with another video ciao